Hey lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Starfield. Do you see how they like crawl away too? If they get a leg injury? I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. <laughs> How's daring the space is to come after him? So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? <laughs> no, no you shouldn't. <laughs> All right, we are continuing on with our main mission. Uh, we're gonna go to Constellation. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. That conversation goes on for like 10 minutes, I think. So there are a bunch of stores here you can shop at. I um, think there's three over there, and then the other area we're going to has a bunch more. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time like exploring and doing that because- or the net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Um, just because of time constraints, but you can see what's in each section, and this transit takes you to all of those sections. Um, and I'm dropping my controller. <laughs> there is a lot to see and do here. Um, and it's really pretty. I'm excited to go to this area. This is my favorite area of the city because it reminds me of Epcot. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis for time. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. All right, here we go. Bartender at the viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. That's one thing that I like about this is you can just like eavesdrop and you'll get new activities and side missions. We may be in a United Colonies city. But Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Here we are, the Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Thanks, Masco. Um, so this Reliant Medical Place down there, you can buy like healing stuff and you can also just like get healed up. So if you get an addiction, you can go there and they'll cure your addiction. Um, they'll heal you up if you have no healing supplies and then you can buy supplies, medical supplies from them as well. Um, and I just want to show you. So since I turned that Captain, setting off last video, everyone will be in the library just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Since I toggled that option off in the main menu, um, I'm just in my outfit. So when I have a cute outfit, which I'm going to go shopping for in this video. Um, You'll see that, which I just find to be a little bit more. Like this, I'm wages. 
I don't know, immersive than walking around the city in your spacesuit. <laughs> Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Pirates attacked. Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. <laughs> Excuse me. It doesn't matter. I have your artifact. Who are you? Don't we start with you telling me what Constellation... Why don't we start... Wow. I'm tired. Why don't we start with you telling me what Constellation is? Sarah Morgan, Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space, primarily but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Um, all right, so I'm going to say pirates attacked. Barris, Barrett see. asked me to deliver the artifact. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? There was bright lights and music. I'm not talking about this. That thing almost killed me. How many times has this happened? Who else has had these visions? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. It was bright lights and music. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Katri, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noelle, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're <laughs> coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. This is all a little much. I need some time to clear my head. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? I'm going to say that one first. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. 
How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. All right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. So let's take a look at our inventory and see what we got. So we got this. The lodge key just unlocks the door. Constellation pack. All right. Um, let's put. We're going to equip that and then let's compare that to this one. So the one we have equipped has 39 physical damage, 23 energy damage, and 31 EM damage protection. Grants up to 100 energy resistance and physical resistance, they'll lower your health. All right, I think I'm gonna keep the constellation pack on. I am at your service, Captain. All right, and then we have another skill point. I think I'm going to do the... I think I'm going to do the boost pack one. Well, I guess I don't need that right now. This is very helpful um, just for like the double jump, and I was actually using it in combat more than I anticipated. So I do recommend getting that eventually. The problem is I want everything. <laughs> I think I'm also going to do the piloting skill because if you want to be able to fly cooler ships, you have to be able to unlock the pilot class ability. So ranks three and four. Um, and I didn't work on that fast enough in my review copy, so, or my review playthrough, so I still haven't unlocked these abilities in that. So I'm going to start this one now so that I can slowly work that up. And then let's go to our activities here. And we'll start by talking to Noelle about our quarters. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Sarah said something about a place for me to stay. You seem to know a lot about these artifacts. I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifacts. The vision I saw, what else, or what do you think it was? How long have you been working on all of this? So let's start with the questions. Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. This wasn't random synapses firing. It means something. So there's a reasonable explanation. Whatever I saw and heard, it wasn't coming from me. Barrett saw something, too? He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Um. Whatever I saw and heard, it wasn't coming from me. that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. 
just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. It's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Okay. Um, let's do this because uh, I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides artifacts. This opens up side things that I think you guys will want to do. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. So if you want to get paid to explore planets, you need to do that talking point, because that's what triggers that. I didn't realize that, and I waited, <laughs> I waited a really long time, so I recommend doing that. Um, let's see. You seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Let me know how I can help you learn more. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're gonna be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. So she will buy organic things from you. So if you need to offload some things because you're over encumbered, you can sell them to her for a better price. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. I trust you're still satisfied with your choice to join Constellation, Noel? Yes, ma'am, of course. I honestly can't imagine being anywhere else. Just making sure, bright young girl like you, there are no shortage of opportunities. There are days that are tough, sure. But if I weren't here, I wouldn't even know about all the incredible things we're discovering. Are you taking me on that tour? I excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware. Stay safe, okay? Okay, I think that accidentally messed up, but... I um... hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Thank you, Vasco. So the quarters, I think, are up here somewhere. Um, we have this little kitchen area. You can cook using that. Uh, shoot, now I have to remember which one is mine. Not that, that's the utility closet. This one. This is our room. So obviously you can sleep here. There's a locker you can store things in. The collectible, t the collectible case that I didn't get. Very sad. Definitely kicking myself that I didn't get that one. I was like, eh, I don't need a watch. Okay, these, yeah. pick these up. These are like the magazines in Fallout or the bobbleheads in Fallout or the skill books in Skyrim. Um, if you pick them up, you permanently get whatever it's for. So it reduces fall damage by 5%. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. 
but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Have to admit, I'm excited. My first mission. Good, a chance to learn more about the United Colonies. Like work never pays off quite the way you expect. Um, the UC Vanguard, other people have artifacts. I I think I'm gonna skip over these questions for now just so I can focus on actually getting through the storyline because there's always questions you can ask. Um, and I'll leave those for you guys to experience on your own. Felt the same way when I started too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Got it. You and me until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen. Whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? I am at your service, Captain. <laughs> I love Vasco. So obviously there are certain missions where you have to have certain followers. Um, you run into that a couple of times, but they're, they don't happen very frequently. And then from my experience, as soon as that mission ends, if you have a different companion or a different follower, they just automatically follow you again. So you don't have to worry about like going back and finding them. I was like, why aren't the Little arrow showing it. Because I have to go this way. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. And there we go. Another little activity. Interesting, because when I was playing this, just for my review, I didn't have any of that juddering in the city at all. Not a single time. Now that I'm recording it, of course, I get the juddering. <laughs> Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Hey, we have hey, the same scar. You ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later we have Constellation business to discuss first. I would love to join the Vanguard. Sign me up. United Colonies native. Okay, so since this is our background, we have a specific text or dialogue option for that. So wait, I was born in the UC. I'm not a, a citizen already. Oh, sorry, but no. UC citizenship is all earned based on service. They should have covered this in your civic lessons. Go figure. Hmm. Interesting. United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? Um, we'll, we'll worry about that later. We have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. <laughs> Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. 
Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. We'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer for it. A scientific discovery being used as an ornament? The indignity. If he's on pa patrol, he could be putting our item at risk. Um, let's say we'll talk to him. I'm sure we can make him a good offer for it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Thank you for your help, John. We're off to Sidonia then. A bar and a spaceport. Sounds like home. <laughs> Thank you for all Anything your help. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Okay, so... Now, let's fast travel to our ship, so I'm gonna bring that up, and... Okay, maybe let's fast travel to our ship? Where is our ship? It's a residential disc- oh, there it is. Excuse me, Sarah, get out of the way! Lift off when you are, Captain. Let's put some points into our grab drive. X to set course and jumping to Seoul. So we're going to land on Mars at Sidonia. want to store some of the stuff that I picked up before. Um, so I'm going to go over to my inventory, go to resources, and store all resources. And then I didn't sell some of the packs, so I'm going to drop some of these packs off. <laughs> Argus extractor jumpsuit. Okay, let's store that and that, and then we will equip that. I was gonna go shopping, I forgot. That's okay. Do it some other time. So in this game, when you're over encumbered, instead of moving slowly, um, 
you see in the circle of your watch face on the bottom left, there's a solid white bar on the bottom that's like O2 and CO2. That's your oxygen level, and that will drop when you run. So, see how it's dropping? But when you're over encumbered, just walking will drop that. And if your O2 level, if your oxygen level gets depleted, then you get CO2 buildup. And as the CO2 builds up, you'll take damage to your health. And I got some skills. So what do I need to do for this? I need to destroy five ships. So yeah, I really need to get working on that. Um, let's see. This increases the range of our grav jump. I think we're going to do that. Because that can get kind of annoying when you have to do small jumps. So that's definitely just like a quality of life thing at this point, but that's okay. Welcome to Mars, everybody! Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. this way I don't think okay so this you can get um, bounties and little missions so this is killing crimson fleet ship this is um, a bounty hunt killing a leader of something uh, this is delivering a package and you only have a certain amount of time to do it Again, delivering a package, and this is to actually survey a planet. Um, so I'm going to pick this one up because that doesn't have a time frame on it. So planet survey progress is shown on the planet's info card on the star map and also in the scanner when on the planet's surface. For planets without life, scanning a planet from orbit may be enough to complete the survey, but most planets require you to land and explore more thoroughly. Um, and then let's do the one... Um, let's do this one to destroy the ship because we have to do that to upgrade anyways. And then these self-service bounty clearance is if you have a bounty, you can pay it off there. Things can get pretty glum around here. If you ever need a little joy. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment when one of those particle detonations goes off. Demo Styards may be the first major ship manufacturer, but that doesn't mean you haven't kept keep up. Keep it simple or keep to yourself, and everyone will be happy. Alright, um... Any local rumors? I didn't do that yet. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. All right, different than Skyrim, where they're just like, oh, I heard. Da, da, da. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking in my bar. Okay, well, we started off on the wrong foot. You ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. We could track him down if you know his patrol route. I'm not about to leave the brave soldier behind to help us find him. Space isn't kind to the lost. He's in trouble or worse. Wait, the blackest sea? Um, let's do this one. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially 
one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Your companion can speak on your behalf. What they will say is written next to their name. Um... All right, let's let Sarah talk. Skip to the part where you admit you're lying. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Okay, dude. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fan. All right, well, that still didn't really help us. Oh, well, now we're down to a thousand credits, so that did help us. Um, all right, let's try to persuade him. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You're gonna guilt trip me. Nobody else needs to know about this. What matters to you more, the money or Moara, Moara's life? I want you to imagine him out there alone, and here you are holding out for cash. I, want I do. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love, singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. All right. living with that just being like your regular existence having to deal with those random explosions I'm sure after a while you don't even notice them but I can imagine it could be annoying um okay let's see here So the other thing is, you don't actually have to be on your ship to fast travel, which is really nice. I think I probably could have fast traveled from, from in there too, and I just didn't, so. Um. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent, the devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. I doubt they know where our vanguard is. Why are Varun Zealots out here near Venus? Do you see Vanguard Mo Moera's ship anywhere? No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. Why are the Zealots out here near Venus? No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. I doubt they know where our vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. So we need to get to that beacon without being attacked. I'm opening fire. Those zealots are a threat to the whole system. Um, I want to open fire, but I don't know if I'm strong enough yet. So we need to get to that beacon without being exactly. attacked. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay, minimize ship system power to avoid detection. So this is almost like ship stealth. <laughs> Systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. 
for maximum stealth, power down all systems except one or two bars in your engines and stay as far away from enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon so that you can activate it. So we're gonna turn our missiles all the way off. We're gonna turn our engines down and our shields off. And we're gonna go as fast as we can with just the two engine beats. And hope for the best. fast I can go without them detecting me. <laughs> when I did this on the review save file I had, I only put one power in the engine and I went like this slow the entire time. And it took me way long. <laughs> I was like crawling. You don't see me. I think after I get it, I might save and try to attack them just to see what happens. If only we had the, um, the Normandy, we'd be undetected. Nova Galactic Star Yard. All right, let's put some more power Power's into our engines. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still Oops. Shit. Sorry, guys. Ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Let's see if Vanguard Moira is in that star yard. Forget about finding the artifact. I want to walk on the moon. What happened to Earth anyway? Why did we leave it? Uh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. All right, let's see if Vanguard Moira is Take in that star yard. Ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Most star stations and ships can be docked with, allowing you to board them. You need to select the ship in your HUD and then fly close enough to it so that the dock prompt appears. So we're going to click A when we're on it. Um, then you can see the name of it with its health bar and it will say hail. Um, and when we get closer to it, it will say dock, which should be coming up at, I think, 500 meters it is. Oh, yep. Okay, there we go. Then you just hold X to dock. 
Um, and you can hail them, so you can talk to them. Uh, obviously, there's this is abandoned, so there's nobody that's going to answer our hail. But if there's like a ship flying by that you want to talk to, you can hail them, and then you can talk to the captain. After you, captain. Okay. Let's see. Two steps in, and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay. It's not that far, Moara. Looks like space has been scavenging around here, and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with the spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. So the main three groups that you'll run into that will attack you are Spacers. Um, I'm sorry, the main four. Spacers, House Varun, the Zealots specifically. Um, and then... Uh, Crimson Fleet. And something called... Ecliptic, ecliptic something. I forget what they're called now. Ecliptics, maybe? Actually, that might be who's here. I don't remember. I guess we'll see. Oh no, I'm sorry, these are spacers. There's gonna be so much to loot here, so I don't think I'm gonna explore too thoroughly until after we kill everybody. Oh, ecliptic, yeah, okay. I think the ecliptics are fighting the spacers. Did you see how his leg went out? I freaking love that, it's so cool. I just looked so many times. Spacers, yeah, spacers fighting Ecliptex. Nice, I didn't realize that last time. I thought they were all part of the same group. Okay, I'm just whipping all of these. I'm just whipping all of these. Let's get a different gun on. I don't think my range is quite good enough. Oops. I thought I reloaded. Oh my god. See how they like crawl away too? If they get a leg injury. Might as well take what we can. Goodbye. Who are you shooting right now? See what this street where it looks like. Plus 20 physical damage. So the only thing we won't have the plus five to health and O2. We'll just have O2 recovery. Um, but we'll take more damage. All right, we'll take that. I 
definitely feel like it's worth it to just do a quick scan through everything, just for um, ammo, if nothing else. And health. And credits. And digistics. <laughs> and everything. But that's why I always over-encumbered. You can save mid-combat in this game, which is really nice. Yeah, that's the other thing, if you get headshots, um, it will either knock them down, or sometimes they'll just complain, like, my eyes! But either way, it gives you a minute to... to recover, which is nice. How is this different? Fully automatic. Um, what's the Equinox that I have? that. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't want that. Ecliptic pack. Uh... Nah, I don't need it. I'm sure the smartest thing to do is to change your build depending on what you're fighting and where you're going. Like, these people are all using energy weapons, so maybe I should have picked that one up because it has energy protection. But I don't. That's too much for me to think about. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Alright, let's use some of our actual food here. Movement speed... So anything with a colored triangle, those heal specific injuries. So save those for like, until you need them, which I'll explain when we do need them. But that's not right now. Butter. Gross. These are all just restore health. Spam call coming in. Oh, worms, yum. My favorite, my favorite snack. Um, I'm gonna keep that because I think there's a cooking thing I need meat for. <laughs> this increases carrying capacity, so we're gonna hold on to that. And let's put this on here. And I think I might need the butter too. Oh no, I need cheese, I think. I don't remember. Alright, here's a health pack. Alrighty. So let's look at the in outside first. Can't go anywhere on the outside. Okay, so I can only go there. That can only go there. That can go there. No, it can't, because the other one goes there. That can go there. 
Okay, so we have the outside done, and then let's just make sure that this can go on the inside. Yep, okay. Perfect. I don't know if that's better or worse, but we'll take it just in case. Plus five carrying capacity. I'll take that, that can't hurt. I'm sure they had something we can use. They did. Money and bullets. to get his health lowered that many times. So since that red bar had three sections to it, I have to get his health bar three times before he dies. But then they always have better loot. Oh, this is a laser weapon. I didn't realize that. Alright, let's see. Thermal and corrosive. It's heavier and does less physical damage protection. But it does... 100% energy, or plus 100 energy resistance and physical resistance to your lower health. I think we'll take that. Sarah's going ahead without me. It's like, I don't, I don't have time for loot. I'm killing people. <laughs> I love those. It's so cute. Oh, she's not killing people. All right. I take it back. Zero wire is one of those things that you need a ton of when you're researching things, so pick up zero wire. Unless you know you absolutely don't need it. Oh, hi! Excuse me! Zero wire and, um... Adhesive. I found that I've needed a lot when doing research stuff. And again, if you're not planning on researching and building things, don't worry about it. But if you are, those were the two that I found that I ran out of the most, besides just like your actual resources, like lead and things like that. We're running low on ammo here. Okay, so I can go on the inside or the outside. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I can go on the inside there. And that's it. This can go... 
the inside or the outside there. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I did the wrong one. Hopefully this works. Okay, that was lucky. <laughs> I still haven't tried to throw in a mine yet. All right, let's compare that to what the other one. So this is See, so five physical. So this does better against energy, but less against EM. Better against corrosive and radiation. I guess let's put that on because I feel like we're fighting people with energy weapons. So. So good. Contains coffee. Maybe. Can I shoot them through here? I don't know if I'm hitting them. So you'll notice in my health bar, there's a little bit of yellow in there. That's because I have burn damage. So if I want to be able to fully heal, I'm going to have to get rid of that burn damage first.
save before I jump down here. utility closet. Where are you? I hear you. I see your little red thing. But I don't see you. Oh, there you are. another person, but I don't know where they are. So we're not going to worry about them right now. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. It's almost daring the spacers to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Especially if you have a good, like a military grade ship. I can see that being better than the spacer ships. Okay, I missed those. Let's see. Didn't come in here yet. Some chunks. Chunks are great, especially when you see them out of their packaging. So, like, you'll see a chunks apple, and it's literally a square apple, and it freaking is just the best thing ever. <laughs> Cracks me up. Okay, so we want that. Uh, we'll take it because we've got the weight, and I can just sell it later on. I haven't noticed if there's a loot all option. <laughs> a wooden duck. Space trucker hall wrap? Must be for your head. Okay. Not sure if I can fast travel out of here or not. Mmm, yum. Synthetic veal. Delicious. Who doesn't want that? Okay, so that was a giant circle. This is why I'm grateful for these. This is where we were before. I think I recognize this now. Although, I still went the long way. <laughs> so as annoying as it is that I can't loot everything because of the lockpicking skill, 
Unfortunately, it is what it is. Do you have anything valuable? Yeah, money. It's really funny because your companions will yell at you if you start picking up too much stuff. Like if you pick up junk or you're over encumbered and you keep picking stuff up, they're sassy with you. And they're like, why are you doing this? Why are you caring so much? Um, so, like, if you pick up a bunch of just, like, things that you can't actually use, they'll be like, is this really necessary? <laughs> yes, Sarah, it is necessary. <laughs> Alright, and again, I'm going to transfer all of my resources just so they're not on me. And I'm probably going to run out of inventory space pretty dang quickly. effects like I think the reason why I just love the atmosphere and the sound effects of this game is because I love when it's like sci-fi from like an 80s perspective like futuristic that still feels old-fashioned like Star Wars or Star Trek I guess would be a better better example it's like the old it feels it feels like outdated but it's futuristic Okay, actually, I don't think I even need the grab jump because I'm not grab jumping, I'm just flying. I just got three freaking spam calls within the course of the past 30 minutes. Hostile ships can be boarded once their ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you'll be allowed to dock. Once you board, expect the crew on the ship to fight back. That's it. Start the docking routine. Um, I always just explode them. Let's I've never once docked a ship other than this, <laughs> which is why I didn't know how to do the engine thing. I think you just keep shooting, and if you notice the little engine, then you go on there. That was bizarre. All right, let's get this crate into space. So that's my ship. Are we on his ship? Oh yeah. Okay. Ah, the bathroom. Nice.
Okay, Sarah, way to stand right in front of me. Much more comfortable inside the ship. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't stay out here for too long. like we're all in one piece any day you walk away from right we're from the explorers group constellation we need to talk breaching a hostile ship and saving lives my kind of party more violence no one has any respect for space these days who are those people why'd they hijack a ship well we know that they were eclipse e ecliptics what you guys still exist man i've <laughs> yeah, only heard hello. stories we've heard stories too about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. <laughs> mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? <laughs> no, no you shouldn't. <laughs> It'll be better in our hands. I'm going to grow on behalf of scientists everywhere. Then you're going to hand over the artifact. You were out on patrol for a long time. People were worried. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Thank you, thank you. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the launch. Look at it! So pretty! Okay, let's, um... Let's grab jump. And so now that we've been to the lodge, we can... Once we grab jump there, we can fast travel directly to the lodge instead of having to land on the landing platform. Is there anything new showing up? 
No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. It's an honor to be a part of this. I expected champagne. What does it mean to be a full member? We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. You got it, Sarah. Let's get back out there. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Nice. Alright guys, I'm going to stop there. So we have one more artifact piece of the puzzle. Um, we will continue hunting those down throughout the story. Obviously, I'm not going to say more than that because spoilers, but the story gets so good. <laughs> so good. So if the main story hasn't pulled you in yet, please just give it time. Please just give it time. <laughs> so good. Anyways, um, in my review playthrough, I traveled with Sam Co as my companion, who we're going to be introduced to in the next video, um, or next couple videos. I don't know if we'll do his mission next, but obviously she just talked about him, so we know that he can travel with us. Um, so I am not going to travel with him in this one. I didn't travel with Sarah at all, so I'm going to travel with Sarah for a little while and see how I like her. Um, and if there's a companion like someone that can become our companion later down the road that you're interested in, just let me know and I can travel with them too. Uh, Cause like I said, I'd like to do as many different things in this playthrough as possible. Um, for this, I really, I liked that this was one of the earlier missions because it really kind of throws you into the fire for the combat. Obviously in the last video, we had combat with um, the Crimson Fleet in the little science base where we had to uh, persuade the leader not to kill us. But I feel like this combat is really when it shows you the challenge and the difficulty, how quickly it is to run out of ammo, how quickly it is to find loot to pick up and become over encumbered. Um, it shows you like the different types of health bars that there are. So I really liked that this happened early because it just, it throws you in, with, <laughs> it throws you into the deep end with the combat. Um, and I really, I prefer that because um, there are just so many systems. It's nice to have one part of the game that you feel confident in and the combat can be tricky that being said it feels good it does feel good i'm not a huge um running gun shooter game type of player um so people who play a lot of games with shooting and running and gunning and things like that i don't know how you guys will feel about the gun combat but for me for someone who um went from playing Fallout 4 before this, the gunplay feels so, so much better. Um, and it really is enjoyable. And um, the only tricky part is, like I said, the ammo. Um, you really need to make sure you're picking up all the ammo and have a variety of guns with different ammo types because you don't want to run out of ammo and have no weapon. Um, especially if you're not a melee person. If you're a melee person, that's not really an issue. But for me, I never carried melee weapons on me because I just didn't use them. So they were extra weight that I didn't need. So making sure that I diversify like the types of weapons I have so that I always have something to use if I run out of ammo for something else. And I like the different weapon types. You'll learn pretty quickly which weapons you like the feel of and which ones you don't. Like that one pistol I had, um, I, didn't, I didn't really like that. That was more like a closer range pistol and it didn't do much damage unless it happened to do the like the extra feature that it had 
um, radiation or something like that. I don't know. So that one I didn't really like. Um, but the one weapon with the lasers I was really liking and there, you know, so you'll find pretty quickly because they all do feel different um, and they do feel like different types of play styles suit different types of weapons, which is nice because I feel like in some of the other games I've played with guns, it's just like either a shotgun or a distance gun or, you know, like it doesn't necessarily like there isn't a whole ton of variety, but I feel like each type of gun really feels different for different play styles in this, which is cool. Um, but yeah, we will continue on with the main mission in the next video. Um, and I don't know which one I'll do yet, so I'm not going to talk about that, but <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day.